All right, so I found a website that promises its users 2000 kanji and 6000 vocabulary in a little as over one year. So that if you start now, today, you should be able to read basically any kanji that you'll encounter for the rest of your life. So if that is your goal, then here's what you should do. So Wanikani is a website that teaches you kanji, vocabulary and radicals. And I've been using it for two weeks now and it teaches you in a very structured way. So there are 60 levels in total and each level contains a certain amount of kanji, radicals and vocabulary. Radicals make learning kanji easier and what's the point of learning kanji if you're not going to learn vocabulary, right? So the way that this works is that it divides the levels into different items and you have to guess either the meaning or the reading of this item. So basically any item is a lesson and after you have done a certain amount of lessons you have to review the items over and over again until eventually you'll just remember them forever. So each item can be divided into these categories depending on how well you know them. So there's apprentice, guru, master, enlightened and burned. So when you first learn an item as a lesson it becomes apprentice. And now the magic of this website is basically the same magic that is in your brain. This website uses a, a method um, which is called space repetition system. And so the magic in this website, in this method, is that these people know how your brain works. If you try to remember something just before you forget it, you are more likely to remember it for a longer period of time. And so Wanikani keeps track of how much time has passed since you last guess the meaning or reading of a kanji correctly and then it'll ask you again after a certain period of time. So here's how long each item is in each stage before you get asked the meaning or reading again and have it potentially move into the next stage. So that second to last stage is enlightened and so four months after guessing the item correctly it'll move to burned and burned means basically that you won't ever see this kanji on Wanikani again and basically you should not have any problems remembering it again. So how many kanji should you study per day? So depending on how many lessons you do and how you do your reviews, your items can really stack up to like 200. But according to users on the forum of Wanikani, they say they average about 150 reviews in a day. But the thing is, if you do your lessons all at the same time and you guess them all correctly, they all move to Apprentice. So if you have too many items in Apprentice, that means you'll have a lot of items to review. So I guess try to keep around 50 items in Apprentice and then have like 150 reviews in a day, which you can easily spread into three sessions, but I'll talk about that later. Now I'm only two weeks into this website, so I'm not really sure what the best way to study is, but it is very personal and it is really depending on your schedule and your routine and what you do in, uh, in your daily life. I guess after a few weeks you get used to it and you find what works best for you. But something that is really important because this will take you a while is, is that you create a good routine. So how do you do that? Well, let's say that you have 200 items to review. You probably want to spread that out in three sessions. Personally, what I do is one in the morning after I wake up and one in the evening before I go to sleep. And let's say if my review is at 8 a.m., then I'll do another one at 8 a.m., uh, 8 p.m. At least that's what I'm trying right now. Um, ideally, I want to do three reviews because I think spreading it out more evenly is easier. And, and there will be a time when I have so many reviews that even if I divide them into two sessions, it'll still be a lot to do. So ideally, you want to do three reviews, uh, review sessions a day. As for lessons, I read somewhere on the forum that doing 15 lessons at a time is pretty average because the thing is if you do too many lessons for example today i unlocked like 30 lessons and if you do all of 30 of them that means that 30 items go straight to your apprentice section and having too many items in apprentice means having to review a lot of items at the same time so i try to split those up too so now how long will this take you um it is possible to do all of this in one year uh users have done it 60 levels in one year but you are going to basically have to speed run this and I don't think that is, well, I'm sure that is not really efficient because at one point you will have just so many reviews and it'll be a lot of work. I mean, imagine having to do more than 200 reviews in a day. It's just insane. So it's all about consistency. Just make learning kanji a habit and accept that it'll take you probably a year or a year and a half. And that's totally fine. I think that's a pretty okay time. I mean, that sounds like a lot of time, but so do 2000 kanji. And it's not as simple as just dividing 2000 into the amount of kanji that you can do in a day and then saying okay i can learn 2000 kanji in i don't know how many days because that's not how this works because you have to take into consideration the brain and how it works using this srs system and this website is made for that so so please trust the system and i know maybe i can't say that because i've only been doing this for two weeks but i want to trust the system and i'll just continue doing this so finally is this actually worth it for you well that depends on your goal and if it matches the promise that wanikani made remember they told you 
2000 kanji and 6000 vocabulary. But where do these numbers actually come from? Well, what they mean is the roughly 2000 daily used kanji that you have probably heard before. It's basically a list of 2000 kanji that are most used in Japanese. And if you look at this chart right here, then you can see a list of all those kanji and exactly which ones you have learned in Wanikani, which is really cool to see. Uh, you can also divide them by JLPT level, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is also really interesting to see. So if your goal is to be able to read kanji comfortably, then I think you should definitely give Wanikani a try. I mean, the sooner you start the faster you'll reach your goal now i know there are more apps like these um, and people might ask you know why not just use something like anki uh, anki is very well known it's also as it uses srs and it's also like this flashcard system well in my case i have deleted and reinstalled anki so many times that i lost count and i'm not sure why that is but i think it's because it's just so boring and plain and i know that Wanikani is basically the same thing, but this uses fun colors and it has the characters and it's just more gamified, I guess. And also Anki, you can really customize a lot. You can add your own cards and do all kinds of stuff, but that's just, I don't want that. I just want a system that works and then have them decide what to do. And the only thing I have to do is wake up, do my session, and then before I go to sleep, do another session and boom, that's it. So I say you start now and then in about a year, let me know how many kanji you've learned and if this worked for you. I mean, I know that's what I'm going to do. In a year from now, I'll make another video, an update video, and I'll show you my progress. Or maybe even sooner. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching.